We'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Are we, are we on now? We are live. Yep. Yes. Oh, hey, I Look at that. that. Hey, there we are. All right. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to another episode. Another. Another. Exciting episode. Exciting episode yes. of As the Stomach. No, that was, I'm sorry, that was that other thing. As that was another. Turns. As yeah. the River Turns. And Ken, we get, we get to see you this week. Yes. yes. We're so excited. Had a few vacation days of late. Yeah. You yeah. deserve it, for sure. I needed a vacation from River Turns. <laughs> I'm sure you did. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, when the when the statistics were going up, I said I've had enough of that. Yeah, that's, yep. that's a good time to take vacation. Out of here. Out of <laughs> yeah, that was a good idea. That's for sure. Yeah. So. It definitely wasn't as fun without you. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely There's, not. Like, yeah, I didn't have anybody to give a hard time to because I can't do it. Right. Least everybody <laughs> See? loves her. And that's you know, right. I, I give you a hard time. Nobody gives me a hard time by giving you a hard there time. You go. And there vice versa. There think, you so. go. Anyway. It works. All right. Well. Yes. Yes, go ahead. I hope everybody got to see the photo of the day. Um, three pictures from the cart path work that they're doing. Yeah. So that was pretty exciting. We thought it'd be better to show you pictures because we know it's tempting. <laughs> to go see it live? To go see it live. Yeah. But we, we really... We don't want you to go see it we live. We don't want you to go see it live. It's too much of a risk to do that. There's a lot of big trucks out there. there a lot of work going on. So we don't want please. any we don't want any handprints in the, the concrete or initials or, or golf balls or, golf or balls. you know yeah. we just don't want any no, of that. Yeah. So no, absolutely not. Yeah, try not to. But anyway. you could right. do a little speed bumps across there with golf balls. Stick them in the concrete. Can. <laughs> Until we have a golfer that thinks they actually put their golf ball in there and tries to hit it out of the concrete. Now, that would be fun. So. We don't want to give people ideas oh, either. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, it, it does Thanks sound a like a fun <laughs> idea. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, let's get started. I think okay. we have a trivia question We today. do, and this one is from Dick Witt, and I believe they're on vacation this week, but he sent me seven or eight different trivia questions, so this is just one of them. So you're going to call Michelle at 336-389-4103 if you have the answer to this question. And of course, bottle of wine. Bottle of wine today. Turtle Bay, New Zealand, 2016 Sauvignon Blanc. You, <laughs> you say that again. We had a hard time saying that. You last. say that so well. I mean, we just had to say it really fast. I'm 16% I'm French. <laughs> wow, 16%. Yeah. Wow. Remember I, about making up. I really up bought more statistics. of like 17. 16, okay. Right. Yes. Hmm. Okay, here here's the question. Here we go. What is, what is the national bird of India? What is the national bird of India? Wow, that's a hard one. That's a good question. Yeah, national bird. Yeah. I knew they had national cows. I didn't know they had... National birds. So they I'm do. Well, they they do. Eat the cows. I know that. Yes. They probably yep. eat the birds. So I, I don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Any idea. <laughs> so if you know the they answer to this, ball over there. I don't know. Maybe they don't. Right. I don't see the phone ringing yet. So I'm going to say the number again, just in case. Three three six, three eight nine, four one zero three. Is that the right number? The phone is still not ringing. Okay. So Let's move on, know, Tom. You know, maybe the internet's down. You never know, right? So. I'm sure somebody knows this. I know they do. So. Okay. D Dick Witt probably does. But. Well, he does, yeah. yes. But, but he's, he's on vacation. Town. He could call long distance. I don't oh. okay. okay. So if we'll we don't, check in later. If we don't get a call. Oh, okay. I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see the answer now. Yep, yep. And it's it's two words. Two words. Oh, oh, oh phone call, phone that, call. That did it. That oh, did it right that was there. all we needed. Just had to get we a just, little hint here. Had to get a little hint. <laughs> we just got a caller. Hopefully right. they're right. All right. All okay. right, well, while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and get into the statistics a little yes. bit. Yes. So, um, you know, um, I'm not sure how bad Labor Day is going to be bad, how, how bad it's, it's going to affect our numbers, but... You know, we started to say, see last week that maybe we were right at the peak or at the crest of the, uh, the Delta variant at this point. And so mm -hmm. this week, we got a winner, by the way. Um, this week, there's a little bit more of a confirmation that maybe we're starting to come back down out of that peak. And so 
Um, so I was really happy to see that. Again, I don't know how bad Labor Day is going to mess us up because, you know, kind of like all the holidays do, there's a lot of family gatherings and people are together and blah, 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 blah. But um, so let's get into a little bit. So for the state of North Carolina, remember, I get all this information from the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services. Um, we saw a trend down this week. So the daily positivity rate, which was like at 15.8% last week, um, is down closer to 12% this week. So we're seeing that as a good sign. Um, the hospitalizations, last week we were at 3,790. This week we're at 3,630. So that's good too. I hope that's a positive sign. Um, unfortunately, we did have 611 deaths um, at the, um, from last week to this week in the state, which was, and I didn't write it down, but I know it was something like 400 and something last week, so that went up. And you know, we, unfortunately, we have a tendency to see that. It seemed like that happened mm -hmm. with the original COVID too. Yep. Is at the end of it, we started seeing a lot more deaths, mm -hmm. unfortunately, um, before it seemed to kind of whisk us over the, the hump there. Um, the uh, vaccination rates did go up a little bit for the state, again, for the adult population. We went from 67% to 68% that had at least the first dose, and 62% from 61% that are fully vaccinated from last week to this week. So about a percent every week, it mm -hmm. seems like it goes up, mm -hmm. which is good. It's you good. Know, hopefully we keep climbing here. Um, so you know, we're making some progress. The other thing that shows that was out that um, I like, to, you all know I like to track this one, which is the, the 14 day average per 100,000 in each of the counties. And so last week we saw two counties that actually started to go back down again. Mecklenburg and Wake counties both went down a little bit last week. This week all four counties went back down or went down from what it was last week. So that's really good. Not a lot, but a little bit. The Forsyth went from 790 to 766 this week. Um, Guilford went from 668 to 637 this week. Mecklenburg went from 661 to 655. And Wake went from 747 to 707. So, you know, that's a good sign. We like to see that number starting to trend back down again. And, um, you know, like I said, we just, we don't know what, um, we don't know what Labor Day is going to do for us as far as uh, vaccinations and all go. but. You know, um, we're seeing even the county positivity rate went back underneath 10% for Guilford County this week. We were at 10.8% uh, at the highest. Last week we were at 10.1, and then this week we're at 9.6. So um, that average is dropping as well. Um, so that's a good sign. I think that's a good sign as well. We're, we're, we're happy to see that keep going. Hopefully that'll keep rocking down at this point. Okay, let's see. Um, here at River Landing, um, boy, I sure don't want to jinx this, but we have not had a case here since, we haven't had a positive case since late, uh, um, late August. So I think we are in pretty good shape at this point in that we are out of the outbreak status at this point. So uh, we might stay on the list for the state right. longer, right. and we know that, but we have done the testing that we needed to do. We finished up today for, um, for residents in Muirfield and St. Andrews. We had done the residents in Pebble Beach and the, all of the staff, we had done that Monday, I think mm -hmm. it was. And so all the folks that we did on Monday all came back negative, which was great. So as long as Muirfield and St. Andrews residents today come back negative, um, we'll definitely be out of outbreak status at that point. Um, our visitations can go back to being somewhat normal again with what we had before, which will be great for those residents. We still are kind of, just because our positivity rate is still high in the county and in the state, we're still kind of recommending for visitations to be more outside mm -hmm. if possible, um, just because we're trying to be extra careful. But right. this is know, the time of year to have that. And so. it, is. it is. It's a great time of year yeah. to have outside visits. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's, we're encouraging that. Let's just yeah. put it that way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm happy about that. I'm happy that, you know, we just haven't had a, um, uh, any cases here in the last couple of weeks. And I hope that can continue. You know, it's still out there. Our sister communities are kind of like us. A couple of them have come out of outbreak status. Um, Glen Eyre went out of outbreak, outbreak status. And then 
yesterday they had a positive one mm -hmm. of their staff members, and so they went back into outbreak status. And quite honestly, that could happen to us very right. easily. Right. We just know with even a 10% um, positivity rate, mm -hmm. we know that this can happen. So, um, yeah. you know, but at the moment, things are good. And mm -hmm. we hopefully the good Lord will keep blessing us and we'll continue down that road. So, yep. so you know, I think the news is, is pretty decent today. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. I'm pretty mm -hmm. happy about that. So, is that why there's somebody playing a tuba outside? Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, we, uh, we weren't sure if we were going to be able to do the show today because, quite honestly, they were working on the balcony. <laughs> right outside, right over top of the multi-purpose room. And we looked yesterday, and they were pretty close to being mm -hmm. done. And then they started again about mm -hmm. 1 o'clock today. And I'm like, oh, boy, we may not be able to do the show. But right. they, got, they got that done. So it sounds, it sounds like somebody with a tuba trying to hit the lowest note they can. Yeah. Ah. So we know that, and you all, um, if you're here in the apartment building, we know you know you can hear it. Um, but um, for those that aren't living in the apartment building, they are moving to the other side today. So they'll start jackhammering the other side. And, and basically, they're taking up four inches of concrete and then a piece of foam that's underneath the concrete. Wow. And I will tell you that it was very interesting. I got a chance to see this because we just had our construction update meeting. And I'm kind of getting off COVID here for a second. But um, when they took the top layer off of the balcony here on this side and they took that foam off, there was water all over the place. Oh. So. We know water was getting in underneath mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. surface layer there somehow, some way. And um, so, you know, maybe we're getting closer to finding the actual truth as to mm -hmm. what is causing yes. our leaks here. And, you know, I sure hope that's the case. But anyway, we'll get, we can get back to that. But we're, they'll be starting on the other side. And I'm trying to remember, I know, you know, with all the grinding and the jackhammering, I know all day yesterday was pretty much going on. But I... I don't remember if it was on Monday. Did, did, does anybody remember if it was on Monday? I didn't think it was Monday. I think they started yesterday. So they got through it pretty quick, I thought. So if they get started on it today, today, the other side, I'm hoping by the end of the day tomorrow, as long as the weather holds out, that they ought to be done with the jackhammering. And I know the jackhammering is, is yeah. That's the painful. bad part. Yeah. It's hard, yeah. and I get that. This is probably the worst or noisiest part it, it, of, it is. There's no of question the project. About it. So. Yeah. Back to Delta variant. Back to Delta variant. Thank you. <laughs> Got to get me back on the agenda here. So, um, so you know, we're still obviously we're still requiring masks mm -hmm. um, in our common areas. Right. Um, anybody that goes over into the healthcare center has to be wearing a mask all the time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think we have opened the doors again, but um, again, like I said, for visitations, because we are trying to encourage you. Right. To be still want to be careful with that. Yeah. Yeah. And we know the Delta variant is very contagious, right? We know. Yeah. I, I have read multiple different reports, and the, the number I see mostly that comes out to me is it's about, it's about six times more contagious than what the original coronavirus was. That's what I keep hearing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's changed, but every time I've looked it up, that's what I keep hearing. So regardless, we know that it is. Mm -hmm. So, um, Okay, so a couple more things in regards to um, the coronavirus and the Delta variant. So... Um, you, just a quick update on this. So we, we know, we mentioned on the show the last couple of weeks that President Biden put in this ruling about um, nursing homes or uh, nursing homes that um, get federal funding and that they have to go to this vac mandatory vaccination policy. Um, and so we've been, we've been waiting, and we're still waiting, quite honestly, for the final ruling on this. So... You know, that information was put out, but there wasn't any real detail to it or any real substance to it, just an announcement that was made. And so what we're waiting for is CMS, which is the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services for the federal government, to put out the final ruling on this. And so we know that that could happen anytime between now and sometime next month at this point. So just to make things more fun, um, President Biden just announced another var uh, 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 variation to this, which is for companies that have 100 plus employees or more, and the requirement there that they that the, all of their staff be vaccinated. But the little bit of a twist there in that unvaccinated people can still work there, but they would have to be tested on a weekly basis. So, so we're waiting for that ruling to come out to see how that affects us as well. Because um, we we hit we hit the jackpot on both of these different mm -hmm. areas here, and so 
We've been told that's not going to be CMS that's going to be ruling on that. That'll be OSHA that'll be doing that. So OSHA will be putting out a, a ruling on that. And we understand, I, I do have a date that was thrown out that, that OSHA is going to be putting something out on October 15th, October 15th. And then there'll be a 60-day comment period that, you know, that will all kind of go through. So, you know, we're probably looking more towards the end of the year before all of that kind of gets siphoned out in regards to that particular part, the, the companies that have 100-plus employees. So I'm sharing all this all to let you all know that we're, we're making plans for whichever way this ends up going. We're making plans for all the different variations of this thing. And... Um, you know, we're just waiting at this point until we really get a, a better understanding of which direction we're going to need to go. So do I think that we're going to have to, to, be, to, to do full vaccination or have, have our nursing staff be fully vaccinated? Yeah, I, I think that, that came pretty clear in the message that President Biden put out the first time around. Um, so anybody connected with the nursing side, I think it's going to have to be that way. And, you know, the, will there be a waiver process? Will there not be a waiver process? We'll have to figure that out. Um, you know, how does that affect the independent living side? I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know at this point. We don't know. We're not going to know until we get the, um, to, to get the rulings from OSHA and from CMS. And the CMS ruling might really only apply to the nursing home side. The OSHA might really be what applies to the independent living side. Mm -hmm. So right now, it's just, it's, it's very up in the air. And so I'm explaining a lot there, but that's only because I want you to know there's a lot of things at play here. And we as an organization have decided we're going to wait this out at this point until we really have further direction and we'll go from there. So more to come. All that to say more to come. And then um, the other thing that um, I know that you all are very interested in is how we're doing with trying to get a booster clinic, uh, bo booster vaccine clinic. And so we're working on that. Um, you know, it's more than likely now it doesn't appear that we're going to get a CVS or a Walgreens in to do that. I don't think they're going to be doing those. Um, CVS, for sure, it hasn't, honestly, CVS hasn't answered me. They won't return my calls and they won't, um, they won't, uh, the person I've been in contact with won't email me. So I, I don't know what their status is, but um, I've decided that we're going to move to the next step. We have our, we have a pharmacy here that helps us um, called Southern Pharmacy. We're working through them to see what they can do about providing vaccine to us. And then we have, um, we have a couple different things that we're looking at from um, how we can do this clinic. So our goal is still to do a, um, a booster clinic at this point. Um, and so we're working on it. So I, we've got a couple, couple irons in the fire here and there that we're working through just to see how we can go about doing that. So, um, you know, we, if, it's, if at all possible, we're going to get this to, to work out. And we'll, we'll figure out a way to do it. I, I, feel, I feel pretty comfortable mm -hmm. that we're going to figure out how to do a clinic somehow, some way. We've just got to figure out the right way to do it. Yep. Okay, enough said about that. Okay, well, you've touched a little bit with construction updates, so we might yeah. sort of go a little further. Yeah, so, um, you know, there's always something, right, with construction. So here I keep saying we're going to be done by Thanksgiving, and I think there's still a chance that we will. Um, but the balconies, um, one of the things that is we can't, that the contract, the construction company is having a hard time getting is the windows that we need for the, mm. for the balconies. Um, you know, these windows are custom made and, you know, we were told a month ago that they were in production and that we would have them and now it's like, oh, we think it's going to slip out until October before you get the windows. And so, so we'll just have to see how far, how long, how far that lasts us. They haven't said official yet that they've moved the schedule, but um, I, it's quite possible that the schedule could get moved. I'm not sure they can put up brick until they put the windows in. Probably not. That's just a guess. It's probably a guess. <laughs> yeah, no, I think you're probably right about that. Mm. So we'll see. They, they're, they've got some workarounds that they're trying to figure out how to do, and so we'll see how that works out. But I can tell you they're putting pressure on the, the window-making company to be able to get the windows, and so we'll, we'll see. Hopefully we'll get them faster than what they think that we'll get them. So, uh, so the balconies, you know, we're still looking mid-November-ish before that gets done, uh, and that, a little bit of that depends on the, uh, the windows. I think all the other projects are going really well. Mm -hmm. um, we should be, you know, I keep saying the parking lot's going to open soon. It really will. Um, but I think Scooter's got some landscaping to do up there. Right. So we got the sidewalk put in. Yep. We're just trying to do a little bit of landscaping up there because we have to put, we have to, before we can get it approved by the, um, the city, 
we have to do a little landscaping mm -hmm. around it uh, or in it. And so Scooter's working on that. And so, you know, uh, we, we're going to finish that and get that done. Scooter's building's moving along well. Um, I still think that's probably going to be mid-October-ish um, before they finish that and get that turned over to us. Lisa, how about Glen Eagles? Glen Eagles, we're moving along very well. Yeah. Actually, the carpet's ahead of schedule. Yeah. Um, so that's good. So still a little bit of painting left. Yeah. Working looks on some good. lighting. Yeah, it's looking looks good, isn't good. it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's looking very sharp. Yeah, it's looking so, great over there. Yeah, but it's coming along very well. And the cart path project would be the other yep. one. And yep. you saw some signs. You saw and mm -hmm. see how that's working out. And I, I just don't know how long that's really going to take. I mean, I, sure. they gave us an estimate as to what they thought they could do. But my understanding is we have three crews out there. We have a crew that's out there ripping up the asphalt that's currently in place, the mm -hmm. asphalt, asphalt cart paths, ripping them up and carting them off. We've got another crew that's framing up for the new concrete. And then the third crew is the one actually laying the concrete and moving along. So they got a good system going. Mm -hmm. And we've complicated a little bit. The golfers have asked that the cart pass be angled so that when the ball hits it, they bounce back toward the fairway. <laughs> and that's it takes an exceptional it is. engineering. So it's going to look a little bit like a NASCAR speedway. Yeah, yeah, a little thing, like that. Right, around the, going around the curves and all. So. <laughs> Uh, boy, that's just what we need is have the golf carts going around on the NASCAR <laughs> Speedway, right? <laughs> that's what we need. <laughs> so, you know, the projects are getting there. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know it seems like it takes forever sometimes, but we're, we're getting there. And, yep. and, you know, once we get the windows, we'll be, we'll be almost dried in here. Mm -hmm. uh, once they get the windows in, we'll be dried in, and then they really can start working on the inside work. Mm -hmm. So they're going to do some of the inside work now while they're waiting for the windows, and there's a way to be able to do some of the stuff that they want to do. But... Um, you know, the big thing to me about the balconies today was that they ripped up all that that surface level concrete and found all seeing that water. all that water. Yeah. And, yeah. and I went up; it's it's really damp up there, and there's water in some of the crevices and all. And so, you know, we just gotta we gotta make sure we know where it's coming from. Yeah. Right. So, and that's what they're up there doing right now. As a matter of fact, they're they're taking a good look at that. So, move along. Yeah. Move Very along. good. Um, just want to take a few minutes and talk about some events. Yeah. Um, we continue to look at events, you know, um, at a case-by-case -case basis. and But we do know the meal packaging events, which we had scheduled for this month, we are postponing those to November. Right. So I just want to give everybody a heads up on that. I'm not sure if we have that announcement out there yet. Um, but that is going to be happening. And I think we have locked in the dates, Tom. We have. I was just trying to look okay. to see if it, exactly what it was. I think I, it's the first weekend in November. It is. It's the fifth uh, and sixth. Fifth and sixth. Fifth and very sixth. good. So. And I was very excited. We picked those dates. Yes. Because Saturday the sixth, I'm manager on duty, so I was going to be here already. So. <laughs> <laughs> and these so are that important was, considerations. That was a very good pick. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and, and Lisa really didn't have anything to do with the date. That's the funny nope, part. No, I, I didn't. When I was looking at dates, I said, Lisa, I'm just, I am think I'm about make, to make you very happy here because we're going to pick your weekend to be exactly. able to do, the, to, to do the packaging event. So. so we have that to look forward to. We really feel by November we're going to be in a better spot. I, you know, That's we don't our have hope. a crystal ball, but we yep. just I just get this feeling that we're starting down backwards, coming down that path again, coming back down the, the hill here. And so... So and when you, is the next reverse raffle? Do we know that? I mean, so that is a great question because I think it's right around that same time. We're frame. aiming for because, November. Because you know, we have the Armadillo Festival in Texas, and I want to try to avoid that if we can. Absolutely. So is is somebody week, from Texas coming again? Could, it's possible. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If, okay. If it doesn't conflict with the Armadillo Festival. Okay. <laughs> so it would be the 12th, that following uh, Friday. Very so. nice. So you might want to lock it in now yeah. with your cousin. Okay. Okay. One yes. of your cousins. One of my cousins. I'm not sure yeah. which one. <laughs> I'm <but>. not either. <laughs> Maybe I, we'll have a vote. We'll ask <laughs> the community who they want to see again, if ah, they want to see anybody. <laughs> that's a good idea. Oh, no, they're going to want to see one of your cousins <laughs> okay. for sure. So. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Oh, and then our memorial services. Memorial postpone. services, yes. And I hope we can postpone them until we don't have to wear masks. Uh, it's so much more lovely to be able to say without right. a mask. You're yep. right. So yep. that'll be future dates as yes. well. We'll keep mm -hmm. you posted on that. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about this a little bit, but, you know, if we end up finding that we're in this kind of phase where we hit a variant and we're going to have to shut, kind of shut down a little bit or mm -hmm. at least scale back a little bit for a period of time, a couple months or whatever. 
we need to hit it strong when the months when we can hit it strong and there's not much of a variant and right. not much of right. a chance for spread. Right. Uh, we need to hit it hard on this mm -hmm. month. And I, I think our timing for a lot of this stuff, the holidays to me are looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think, you know, there, there could be a variant out there that I'm not aware of that could kind of, right. I know they keep talking about the Mu variant, I think, mm -hmm. that's out there. But I haven't heard a whole lot yet that says that there's a lot to be concerned about that yet, but we'll... We'll see. Uh, is it true that that's a variant that's developed with um, among Wisconsin cows, dairy cows, the moo variant? I, Ken. Sorry. <laughs> Ken, did I tell you I missed you last week? <laughs> you, did, you didn't mean it, did you? Well, I might take it back now if you're going to talk about Wisconsin. <laughs> Well, why would they call it the moo variant? I don't I know. No I don't know. <laughs> It'll spell it that way, I think. Oh, yeah. okay. I think it's M-U instead of M-O-O. -O, I so. see. I got it. I got it. Oh. And hopefully we'll even have had our booster so in I, mid to late October, so that will help us too. If it had come out of Wisconsin, it would have been the curd variant or something <laughs> like that, right? The cheese right. curds or something, I think yeah. would have been... The cheese variant. Okay, uh, let's get back to events here. Um, we also have postponed the chorus concert that was planned for in October. So everything we're just kind of pushing back a little bit and see where we're at. Um, Olympics, of course, we've talked about that. That is the quarantine style, so we are not traveling as we had planned. Um, but we do has, have some events related to that. Let's see, this Friday, you have to have turned in your creative art submissions. And then performing art submissions get with Jill. Um, she's taping people performing, so that should be very exciting. Mm -hmm. I think the band is one of those, and maybe the chorus too. So that's great. And then let's see, Wednesday, September 20th, we already have the men's billiard tournament, 10 o'clock in Glen Eagles. And then Wednesday, September 29th, Instead of the normal pep rally that we have here in the multi-purpose room, and we usually have the high school band come out, um, that's just not possible this year. The high school's not traveling to do that. We're going to have a pep rally golf cart parade. So that should be very exciting. Decorate your carts with um, an Olympic theme. There'll be prizes for the first, second, and third places. And lineup will be at 9.30 on Niblick Court. They'll start up there and then come around, kind of like all the other parades that we have, yeah. follow that similar route. And one of our very own, Josh Boyd, is going to be playing some drums throughout the golf cart parade. So that should be very exciting, too. Wow, that would be pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. And when is that again, Lisa? That, that is Wednesday, September 29th. Yes. Okay. And then all the other Olympic events will be October 1st through the 7th. Very good. Yeah, very exciting. Okay, Furl, I have an update from Jim yes. Kalaki and committee. Do it. Uh, Furl, course registration began last week and in three days had exceeded any and all expectations with well over 400 registrations wow. for about a dozen different course offerings. So that's, that's pretty amazing. That's awesome. The first course right here, which W-R-I-T-E, right now, W-R-I-T-E, mm -hmm. with Walt Pilcher met yesterday, and that went over great. So thank you for that. Um, other courses are beginning over the next couple of months. The full schedule and listings are available in the September issue of the Encompass. So very good update there. Also, the Furl River Landing Conversations Fall Series, in which Jim Kalaki and Helen Shields host weekly conversations with senior River Landing staff and residents Gets underway this coming Friday, September 17th at 3 o'clock, channel 1390. So this Friday will be the first one. Jim and Helen's guest is Megan Brown, who is a River Landing Healthcare Administrator. The conversations will air weekly on Fridays at 3 until late November. Each conversation will also be available in the Care Merge video portal after it airs. For questions about FURL, please contact any member of the FURL work group, Jack Berry, Jerry Boone, Carrie Gustafson, Jim Kalaki, Bill Lemieux, Sarah Leitner, Bonnie Smith, and our very own Brian Stroud. <laughs> he says hi from the audience. So, <laughs> oh. uh, but, I, I understand they have some really great guests coming up. Oh, they do. Yeah. 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 Um, very good. Let's see. Also, a representative from the Bank of Oak Ridge will be on site every Wednesday. 
including today, wow. started today. So that's great to have them back in um, our community here. Are and they're they here from free, 9 a.m. to noon. Free money and free samples and things? I don't know if they're giving any free money. They, you could bring them your money. <laughs> then, I, I, not the way I really want it's to not, work. No, it's not. No, it's not. But if you need assistance with your banking needs or just want to learn about their service, uh, we are very fortunate to have an in-house bank like this. Yeah. Um, and we really need to support this as a, as yeah. a body here because, you know, we, we could very well have been without any bank at all. I mean, yeah. Bank of Oak Ridge, you know, we fortunately we had a Bank of Oak Ridge uh, employee that's on our board who mm -hmm. really kind of went to, went to bat for us. Right. And, so they invested a lot into that ITM machine for right, us. Right. So, so I would encourage you to please use yep. them um, at Bank of Oak Ridge. And I, mm -hmm. I do all of my stuff with Bank of Oak Ridge now. I mean, I have, mm -hmm. you know, the only thing I don't have with them is my mortgage, but I've got a car loan, and I've got a home equity loan, and I've got my insurance through them. And I told mm -hmm. you their insurance services are great. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got checking accounts and saving accounts. So right. it's a, it's a, they, they do a really good job. Yep. They're a good bank. And that's really been a great service, especially through COVID, you know, yeah. not having to go out somewhere, yeah. um, going into a bank, being around mm -hmm. other people that you don't know. And yeah. this has really been a good service. You know, it's, it's interesting. They, they had that forethought to think ahead, I guess, and right. not expecting a pandemic to occur. Right. But, right. you know, wow, how great is it to be able mm -hmm. to go in there and push a button and you get the chance to talk to somebody? Absolutely. It's really kind yep. of nice. Okay, I have an exciting message from Cindy. Uh-oh. Okay, oh, are we so ready for this? Exciting message from Cindy? Okay, here it comes. Okay. Destiny returns Destiny. to River Landing on October 1st. That's exciting. She will take the open certified medical assistant position in the clinic and work with our team there. So that's exciting for her. Yes. Um, so, oh. Give me a second. Yeah. Destiny started out in the clinic here. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's exciting. She's going back to her roots, but she has, has made that commitment to be part of the medical team again. Yep. So she was in resident services for a little bit, loved it. She's not leaving because of any reason there, right, Cindy? Yeah. Okay, she loves Cindy, but- We need her in the clinic. But she needed, yes. Mm -hmm. Really, her, her goal is to be back in that clinic. So yeah. we are making it happen. So the other exciting piece of this Cindy Sparings, who has been filling in for Destiny while she was on maternity leave, will be taking Destiny's position. Oh. So she will be the new resident surface person. So it's official. We can officially announce it today. Woo! So everybody loves that. That everything yes. worked out super. And Sydney is in our audience today. So Yes, Sydney and Cindy now work together. Ooh. Try saying that. It's not good. I think one of them has to change their name. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> Either that or I'm just going to say Brian all the time because it's easier to say Brian. So. <laughs> oh, Cindy was here first. So I guess Sydney has to change her name. <laughs> but Sydney's connected to Scooter, and Scooter's been here a lot longer than you have, Cindy. So... You know, maybe it's you that have to change your name, Cindy. I don't know. We'll have to come. <laughs> okay, so we're excited for both Destiny and Sydney. So yes. they both have found their places within our family. Yeah. So that's very exciting. You know, let me just say, I know Sydney was helping us out in the HR department for quite a while, but we always knew her passion was to work with the residents, not not so much with yes. the staff. Her passion was with the residents. Yeah. So. You know, I think this is really great that right. she gets a chance yep. to go over there and, and do what she really wanted to do. So, Absolutely. Okay, one last thing. Arts and Craft Room open house on September 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 at night. And this is a statement from them, from the art group. We have a group of residents who are working on creating art in all shapes and forms. and want you to join and find your creative niche. So come check out the Arts and Craft Room on September 21st, 5.30 to 7.30. That's exciting. Good, yeah. good. We just got a couple quick questions, right? We do, very quick ones. Okay, the first one. Are you going to resurface the walking path around the pond behind the multi-purpose room? So yes, when we've been talking about the cart paths, uh, maybe we don't stress as, as much, is it also is the asphalt park uh, walking, walking tracks path. that we have too. Yeah. 
So yes, we will be replacing the path around around the pond out back. Really, here. an easy way to think about this is any any of the paths that we have that are asphalt right now are going to get replaced with concrete. Yes, mm -hmm. so. that'll look really sharp. Yep. So looking forward to that. And last one, do I have to wear a mask when I'm outside? So the mandate does not mandate you to wear a mask outside. Um, so that if you want to wear a mask outside, that would be completely up to you. Or if you feel like you're too close to somebody outside and you're just taking extra precaution, that's fine too. But um, this person was asking if the mandate included outside, and it does not. The mandate was for indoors. Right. Very good. Yeah. That's correct. Yep. So just so want to clarify that. When it starts that. getting cold and windy in December, you can wear one. You can wear your mask then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Multi-use there. <laughs> or if you're one of Ken's relatives, you might want to wear a mask. You know, I mean. <laughs> the only time my people wore masks was to go into a bank. <laughs> <laughs> That's a family myth. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Of course, of course. <laughs> oh. Well, Ken. We have time for Ken today. <laughs> we have time for Ken. Thank y'all for going with right Yes. Back. Well, I have some funnies for us. Oh, Ooh. right. I, like I love it. your funnies. I like because, it. Because uh, in days when things are getting a little bit restricted, this is a nice break. And here we go with the first. I can't wait, Ken. I can't wait. The first one's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. It's coming. What's that saying about um, this is, to those who wait? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good things happen to those who wait. That's oh, right. absolutely. Yeah, this is a, this is a, a waiter. There we go. Waiter here. And, and the, the gentleman at the table says, can I ask you about the menu, please? And the men and the lady says, "The men I please is none of your business." <laughs> I like this one. This is show and tell. Is what it says in the back. It says, "This is my grandpa. He's going to explain why this country is going to hell in a handbasket." <laughs> <laughs> I'm a grandpa now, so I'm. I, I, I got to so work on this. that speech. Yeah, that's great. I'm gonna work on that speech. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the cat on the scratching pole, but the guy says, you know that's a scratching post, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's the cat doing a dance. I don't know. <laughs> Ken! <laughs> I, I didn't really understand the joke, but I thought if I brought it here, someone would know and could explain it to me. <laughs> Lisa, will you explain it to oh me? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to make a voodoo doll of myself and give it a back rub, which I think is a great idea. <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> that is very clever. Mm. I was going to cook alligator for dinner, but realized I only had a crock pot. Oh. 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 I see. I told you oh. I had some groaners. <laughs> yes, you do. I'll have to remember that one. That I is like a that real one. groaner right there. Try to remember the greener grass across the fence may be due to a septic tank issue. <laughs> Cindy, you love that one, don't you? <laughs> the thing you long for may not be what you think it is. That's right. I just saw in the news that a man has discovered how to do origami backwards. More on this story as it unfolds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. I like that yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one. Eggs are fantastic as a fitness diet. If you don't like the taste, just add cocoa, flour, sugar, butter, <laughs> baking powder, and cook it at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. That's a good one. That's an easy fix. <sighs> and for all who may be having a bad day, it could always be worse. This is a jail, oh. and this is a guy digging out from below the jail, and he's digging across, and there's the outhouse that oh. you see on the right. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> that would not be good. That one was for Cindy. That's she a Cindy joke. Scatological yep. jokes. <clears throat> I'm adopting a healthier lifestyle, so I parked and walked inside to buy my donuts instead of using the drive through <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, you can get carried away with your diet. Yep. But that seems reasonable right there. <laughs> Why science teachers should not be given playground duty. Did, did, did you ever see those little ball bearing things yes. where you pull it up and you drop it and it goes ping, I used to love ping, those things. Ping, yeah. <laughs> He's doing it with the kids on the swings. I, lo I love that. Oh, you'll like this one. These are, see the eggs around the dip? He died last Friday, 
Thank right. God he wasn't beaten. Don't worry, <laughs> he went over easy. He's now on the sunny side. He's definitely in a better plate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I love that. When you're stressed, you eat ice cream, cake, chocolate, and sweets. Why? Because stress well backwards is desserts. Oh, oh yeah. I had never noticed that. No. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty neat. <laughs> That's pretty clever. I think it would be great if Walmart added an upper level observation deck with a full bar. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. That's a great one. <laughs> you know how many people go to Walmart just to people watch? <laughs> if, you can, if you want to people watch, that's a great place oh to Oh, my gosh. It. Earlier today, I saw a bumper sticker that said, I'm a veterinarian, therefore I can drive like an animal. Suddenly, I realized how many proctologists are on the roads. <laughs> And that's another one. Somebody's got to explain it to me. I don't understand. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Whoever said all you need is love has clearly never had warm peach cobbler with vanilla ice cream. <laughs> oh, I like this next one, too. I just cleaned my kitchen floor using only my feet and some baby wipes without spilling my wine. If anybody needs a life coach. <laughs> I'm so single right now that I stood on a cliff and shouted, I love you, and my echo replied, I just want to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's the last one. It has been a lonely time for a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that would Those really, were good. really be sad, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. I love you. I said, honestly want to be friends. He said that reminds me of the joke that Joseph told us, right? <laughs> what was it about the cliffhangers? Oh, yeah, it was, I, I don't even know how to repeat it. Okay, so something about the cliffhangers and somebody saying, oh, well, I'll ruin it. See? Though. Yeah, but it actually, he said it toward our stand-up meeting. It was like, we, we had to think a second. Well, maybe, that's kind of a joke. Maybe not the reaction he wanted. Yeah, I think he was going to use it for food for him, wasn't he? I think he was. I don't know if he did, though. Know if he because did. our reaction he didn't get a great may reaction have. From us. <laughs> He just kind of shook something his head about afterwards. How, you get, how did you get so many people named Cliff or something? I forgot that. Oh, God. Yeah, it, yeah. Well, it's time to find out who has won our bottle of yes, wine. Yes, let's okay. find out. So the question today mm. was, what is the national bird of India? And the answer is Indian peacock. Indian peacock. Yeah. Huh? Yep. And we have a winner today, and it is Elaine Franks. Oh, Congratulations. So Brian will be bringing you a bottle of wine. Sauvignon Blanc. Huh? Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, look, at, he's, he's coming up here to get it right now. He wants to be on TV. He really, he oh, wave to the camera, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> he must have somewhere to go, he so he, he needs does. to yeah, go he now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. And the winner of the big prize is Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good show. Yeah. Another yep. show. Another and show. Done under an hour. Yep. Yeah, it was. We did good. Yeah, I think. We're getting good. I think we did well, good. you know, when you do this once a week, it's not as much buildup, I guess. Well, Maybe there's that's... also not, usually there's not as much information, right? I mean, yeah. so we, in that <laughs> first we're... one, we just was like, we right. well, right. over an hour's worth of information. Yeah. Buildup is a good description of our show. <laughs> I wonder what the uh, residents have to do to get to get ready for our show. <laughs> they had to drink a lot of wine, probably. <laughs> Using baby wipes in yeah, the kitchen. Yes. Right. I don't know. <laughs> do, it, do it with music. I think it'd work out pretty well. well. It just might. Well, Ken, it was great having you on the show. Yeah. It's good to be back. Thanks Glad you're back. back. Appreciate that. We hope you all have a great Wednesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, see you next week. I think we're on yes. next week, right? Yes, we're we are. Next week again. So hopefully we'll continue to see the trend down. Mm -hmm. That'd be Labor Day could mess that up I a little know. bit. We know yep. that, right? We'll see yep. how that works out. Um, but, you know, hopefully we'll have continue to have some good news and we can kind of, well, it won't be nice to get back to where we don't have to wear masks. Yes. I, I don't know about yes. the rest of you. I, I get tired of wearing yep. a stupid mask. Um, yep. 
but we need to. We need to. I know we need to, but yeah. I hate it. So uh, hopefully we'll get there. But congratulations to Sydney <laughs> and Cindy <laughs> and Brian and Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's really cool news. Yeah. So. And we've got our new director of human resources starting mm -hmm. on Monday, yeah. Vicki yeah. Spriggs. So we're excited about her mm -hmm. coming and joining our team. So that's good. So, yeah, things Very are good. kind of moving along yeah. here. So, Oh, and, you know, I didn't mention, I, I really should do this because we, we've we been making such a big deal about staffing. We didn't even really talk about that today. So I, let me just a 30-second thing on the staffing. So we have got a new process in place for our staffing as far as our recruitment goes. Mm -hmm. um, I mentioned to you before, we're hiring a recruitment specialist, and she hasn't started with us yet, but she'll be coming hopefully in the next couple of weeks. But we have a new, um, a new kind of like a new um, processing mm -hmm. for our, and an advertisement for our open positions. And so we've had some really good success in the last yep. week or so. Uh, I think we mentioned that um, in our uh, orientation last week, we had 12 new staff members coming on board. And we have hired probably 10 to 12 more probably. easily mm -hmm. this past week. Yep. Um, That's a good week. So mm -hmm. it's yeah, been really good. good. We're, starting to see, yep. we're starting to see more interest coming in. Mm -hmm. I, I want to also just a shout out to those residents who have said that they're helping us with mm -hmm. uh, putting it through their churches. We yep. really mm -hmm. appreciate that. Any way we can advertise our open positions is greatly appreciated because you know it's a it's a numbers game. You know, mm -hmm. the more people we can get it out to, the more people that know that we're hiring, right. Right. the more people we have potentially that are coming in. So we're making some really good mm -hmm. um, some inroads. We don't want to jinx us, but we've been, <laughs> we've been looking for a painter for about eight months now mm -hmm. or nine months for Kevin's area. Maybe have a painter now. Right. And right. Scooter's been looking for a landscaper for the last six or seven months yeah. and. We might, might have, have one of those too. Right now. <laughs> so, so you know, we're kind of getting there. It's starting, yeah. to, it's starting to feel more positive from that approach. And right. I don't know what's, you know, I don't know if it's just this way we're doing our ads now, or if it's because it's a combination of that and residents sharing with people mm -hmm. and getting it to mm -hmm. the people here. I think it's all those things right. that all right. make a difference. So, yep. I did want to share that that we're starting to make some inroads. Also, our website. I think it's good to point that out, yes. that if you go to the River Landing website, we have a tab on the top that says careers. So when they can click on there now, and mm -hmm. it will show you all of our job openings. They're all pretty up to date now. Right. And you can literally click on the job that you're interested in, and you can fill out an application right straight through there, and it goes right into our new system. That's right. So that's, right. that's a so great it's help, too. It's a great too. thing. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, so we're trying to make it as easy as possible mm -hmm. for people to apply for jobs here. So. Yep. Um, so yeah, so I, I just wanted to take a couple seconds to talk about sure. because I I, th I think that's been positive as, mm -hmm. as well. We're starting to see some movement mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. um, and so I'm really happy about that. that that's going to be a huge mm -hmm. help for us. We still Absolutely. have some, a lot of need. Don't get me wrong, right. but right. we are making some inroads there, and so um, so that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, we'll leave good. with that. We'll leave with that. Okay. Thank you all for watching today. I hope you have a great week, and we love you. Bye bye. Clear, clear.